Note to Johnny Depp and Gore Verbinski, if you wanted to make another Pirates movie, just make another Pirates movie. The Lone Ranger. It's a new take on the classic Old West hero, this time brought to us by the team behind the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Gore Verbinski directs and Johnny Depp and Army Hammer take on the roles of our heroes. Right from the beginning, you can tell that Gore and Depp are in very familiar territory. So much so that I swear, many of these scenes could have been swapped with scenes from one of the Pirates movies. And nobody would have even known the difference. Verbinski continues his distinct storytelling device that contrasts characters of grit and grime with those of polish and prestige. His modus operandi is to move our hero from the world of polish to the world of grime under the guidance of a quirky sidekick who patiently withstands our hero's journey. Depp, of course, is perfect for this endeavor, endeavor, whether it be as Jack Sparrow in the Caribbean or here as Tonto. And yet, he really isn't bringing much new to his repertoire by taking on this role. Army Hammer, on the other hand, feels genuinely fresh in the hero's role by showing a real keen sense for both depth and humor, serving the story well even if the movie does eventually lose its way. The best thing about The Lone Ranger is when it's working, it's really working. There are several really great action scenes that feel visceral, energetic, and fun. The movie opens with one of the best Old West train chases I've ever seen, and when the William Tell Overture kicks in in the finale, wow, goosebumps. Even in some of the less frenetic moments, the movie finds a good rhythm between its leads as Depp and Hammer play really well together. The problem is, those parts don't even make up half the movie, and at two and a half hours, that makes the whole endeavor feel like a major slog. And that's the worst thing, the pacing. The movie seems to get lost in its own message and self-importance, trying to turn what could have been a playful romp into some meaningful statement about race relations and the ev evils of industrialism. Not that those aren't important things to consider, only that the movie could have made the same points without having to strain at it so hard. The movie is intertwined with a completely unnecessary storytelling device that steals much of the energy and momentum throughout. And the movie spends so much time delving into the backstories of our two leads that the joy of the movie completely fades at times. It's as if the movie sacrifices the story's present by spending too much time in the past and future. Now don't get me wrong, I'm all for giving characters their due development, but at some point you have to trust that we get it and let us get back to the fun stuff before boredom sets in. Overall, The Lone Ranger is a frustrating miss. It shows promise in the performance and chemistry of its leads and has some really fun adventure, an action that leaps off the screen, but in the end, the movie's tendency to shift down for lessons and explanations grinds this train to a screeching halt that ends up making the whole journey way too long. I say, it's a C. For more reviews, you can check out yourmoviefriend.com or join the conversation at Your Movie Friend's Facebook page. And as always, feel free to subscribe at YouTube to be notified as soon as new reviews are available. Just click the subscribe button now.